on the only weekly recruiting show in the tri-state area. In Ohio, it's anchors away for a big defensive end and a state champ. In Michigan, a couple of head-turning performances at the recent state finals has the attention of college programs. And in Hoosierland, the state's number one football prospect has new offers from both coasts. Let's get into it. Thank you for coming back to the State Champ Scout Show. If this is your first time, welcome. If you love recruiting news from the upper Midwest, this is your home. I'm your guide for the ride, Jenna Rose. Our program is presented by Lawrence Technological University. If you have the dream of playing college sports but feel you just aren't getting the attention you deserve, Lawrence Tech offers two dozen NAIA varsity sports. Recruit yourself at ltuathletics.com. Check it out. Former Michigan State quarterback Ryan Van Dyke has another insightful segment in Recruiting 101. And there's several stories to get to. Let's start this week in Indiana. This is Scott Bernstein from Indiana. It was a busy but quite productive week for Center Grove junior defensive tackle Caden Curry, the number one football prospect in the state's class of 22. The six foot five, 260 pound menace in the trenches with suitors spanning the entire country took a virtual visit to Notre Dame last Wednesday and received offers from USC, Florida State and South Carolina over the weekend. Curry is a hurricane of hustle and flow on the line, a disruptive force frequently setting up camp in the opposing team's backfield. Scouting experts report Curry has been leaning towards Ohio State through the meat of his recruiting process. Last fall, Curry recorded 65 tackles and eight sacks to help lead Center Grove to a perfect 14-0 record, a 6A state championship, and a national ranking to end the 2020 campaign. Maryville junior offensive lineman Theo Sparks snagged his first Division I college offer last week with a bid from Ball State coming his way. Sparks is 6'4", 265 pounds, with quick feet, good fundamentals, and a growing nasty streak on the gridiron when banging pads at the point of attack. More Mac schools are said to be ready to come in with offers soon. Maryville went 10-2 last season. Checking in from Indiana, this was Scott Bernstein. If you're a high school athlete with the dream of playing college sports, Lawrence Technological University wants you to recruit yourself. LTU offers over two dozen varsity sports for men and women, along with several dozen world-class undergraduate programs. Athletic and academic scholarships are available in all sports, including its newest additions, competitive cheer and dance, e-sports, women's hockey, and men's and women's track and field. Visit LTUathletics.com and recruit yourself. Lawrence Tech, where Blue Devils dare. I'm Lauren Plant. Here's what's happening in the state of Michigan. There is nothing like showing up and showing out on the big stage to grab people's attention. River Rouge freshman wideout Nick Megatron Marsh already had two offers coming into his debut season with the Panthers, Kentucky and West Virginia. But within 48 hours of blowing up in the Division Three finals against DeWitt, he garnered five more scholarship bids. The day after his four-catch, 85-yard, one-touchdown performance, Coach Corey Parker gushed about his potential and budding leadership qualities. Marsh grabbed offers from Central Michigan, Michigan State, Georgia Southern, and Michigan, followed by an offer from Arizona State on Monday, and more will be coming. The 6'3", 195-pound Marsh caught a 12-yard touchdown pass a little over a minute into the fourth quarter of Saturday's title game, grabbing the ensuing two-point conversion to cut the deficit to 11 points. In girls basketball news, Howell Jr. point guard Maeve St. John committed to Northwood University over the weekend. The 5'7 St. John averaged 14 and a half points, just under four rebounds and just over three steals for the Highlanders as a sophomore, leading them to a 16 and five record and a third place finish in a stacked KLAA West, earning all conference honors. A contributor since her freshman season, St. John's late free throws were the deciding factor in a home win over Brighton that ended up determining the league race. 
Nicknamed Mr. Reliable, Brian Hunter III certainly showed up when Grand Rapids Christian needed him his senior season, scoring at least once in each of the Eagles' four wins. Now, he'll be Mr. Reliable for Valparaiso, committing to the Crusaders over the weekend. The 5'10", 160-pound speedster caught passes, 24 of them, for 300 yards and four touchdowns. He returned kicks, including one for a score. He picked off passes, returning one of his two interceptions for a touchdown. Hunter finished with 25 catches for 312 yards, scoring seven total touchdowns, earning all-conference and all-region honors. While the program's most famous alumnus, Eric Fisher, was helping lead Kansas City back to the Super Bowl over the weekend, the man who was under center for Stony Creek's most historic season was figuring out where he's headed to. Cougars quarterback Ryan Eckout committed to Siena Heights on Saturday, signing the paperwork to join the NAIA squad in the fall. As a senior, the 6'1", 185-pound Eckhout led Stony Creek to an unbeaten regular season, the first in program history, and an OAA White Division title, as well as the program's first playoff win, completing 66% of his passes for nearly 600 yards and running for 156 more. Ferris State coach Tony Anise's connection to the Muskegon area still run deep and it paid off over the weekend as the Bulldogs will pull a second quarterback out of the area, getting a commitment from Muskegon Big Reds QB Amari Crowley. The 6'1", 180-pound Crowley plays both ways for Muskegon at quarterback and at free safety, but played wide out earlier in his high school career, giving the Bulldogs plenty of versatility in finding him a spot. Crowley chose Ferris over D1 offers from Western Illinois, Buffalo, Western Michigan, Miami of Ohio, Ball State, Army, Kent State, Central Michigan, and Cincinnati. He threw for 1,008 yards, 12 touchdowns on 68 for 102 passing, and added 884 yards and 13 touchdowns on 112 carries this season. Ty Holtz might have come out of nowhere for most of the world after playing sparingly as a backup for DeWitt last year, but a junior season explosion that saw him lead the Panthers to their first state title, throw for nearly 2,400 yards and 35 touchdowns, and wind up as a Mr. Football finalist, suffice to say he's on everyone's radar now. Less than 24 hours after he put up 295 total yards and five scores into its 40-30 win over the defending champ, River Rouge, Holtz had his first offer from Ferris State. That's it this week from Michigan. Did you record an unbelievable touchdown, a game-winning goal, or just a proud parent moment? Then we want your clip. Upload your video to the brand new State Champs Network app so we can feature it on one of our shows and give your player, team, and school the recognition they deserve. All it takes is just a few easy clicks, and every clip that is submitted will automatically be eligible for prizes. Download the State Champs Network app today for iPhone and Android devices. This is Alan True taking you through the latest in recruiting news from the state of Ohio. Dartmouth and Bowling Green have both offered Revere High School junior Aiden Palmer. A 6'5", 280-pound junior offensive lineman, Palmer holds an additional scholarship offer from Akron, as well as Ivy League opportunities from Yale and Penn. A long list of other programs are recruiting him, including Iowa State, Kentucky, Toledo, Stanford, and more. A two-way player as a junior, schools are looking at Palmer more as an offensive lineman currently, but he could garner interest as a defensive prospect as well. St. Clairsville junior offensive lineman Avery Henry has received an offer from Eastern Michigan. That is the first scholarship offer for Henry of the recruiting process. A massive 6'6", 327-pounder, he played both sides of the ball this season and is still big and athletic enough to play basketball for the Red Devils. This is Henry's first offer, but he now has the attention of many other programs. Michael Whitehouse, a senior defensive end from Cincinnati St. Xavier, is headed to Navy. The midshipmen get a 6'4", 230-pound recruit, made a lot of plays in the backfield for the Bombers. He can play inside and outside and showed he could pursue and run down plays. Ashland, Tiffin, Mercyhurst, and more had also offered. Quinn Knox, a senior linebacker from Akron St. Vincent St. Mary's, has committed to the Red Foxes of Marist. Knox is a classic middle linebacker and at 6'2", 220 pounds, was seemingly always around the football. 
He was an all-district selection as a senior. An all-around student athlete, Knox scored a 30 on his ACT in addition to his success on the gridiron. Ohio Northern, Wayne State, Lake Erie, and other schools had also offered. That's it for recruiting news this week. I'm Alan Troop. This is Ryan Van Dyke with State Champs Network. So I wanted to get to the last three things of habits of highly recruited athletes, all right? Number one is this is not gonna happen by itself. You need to reach out to the resources that are, that are available at the school, um, talk to your coaches, talk to your parents. Perhaps it's um, somebody that graduated years before you that you know, had a similar path that is what you wanna take. What were all those steps to, that they had to get buttoned up to get to where they had to go? It's very important, guys, to have your academics in place, okay? Guidance counselors can help you figure out the dates of ACTs. Um, they can help you figure out what your GPA, GPA needs to be. But really, I think it, it starts and ends with you and taking action toward your, your dream becoming a reality. Okay, number two is focusing on the fit for you and not necessarily the level, okay? College A really wants me, you know, they, they think I'm a great person, they invited my family in, and College B doesn't really communicate that much with me, um, but it's, it's, it's where I grew up wanting to go. I can tell you this, guys, if you go somewhere where you're valued and you're wanted and, uh, it doesn't matter the level of which you play, all right? Um, it, it might for you, but I'm thinking in terms of having a well-rounded college experience in, in terms of the athletics and in terms of the academics. And the people at each place, like what, what are they like, okay? So focusing on the fit for yourself and not the level is, is, is very important. Next week, we're gonna conclude this subject by talking about the last but probably the most important um, thing of all. So I'll see you next week. This is Ryan Van Dyke, State Champs Network. We'll have a special National Signing Day edition of the Scout Show next week. But remember, we'll be here all school year long because recruiting never stops. I'm Jenna Rose. See you next time. State Champs Scout Show is proudly presented by Lawrence Technological University, where Blue Devils dare.